Hey everybody, it's Boo Ray from Tampa, Florida, and I travel all over the country and I teach photography all over the place. And I can tell you that if I had to pick the one thing that most photographers don't quite understand, the one thing that photographers seem to get wrong all the time, it's DPI, dots per inch. So in this video, I am going to break it down. I'm going to make you understand dots per inch. I'm going to make you understand why you have been doing it wrong all along. And the best part is when we're done, you're going to feel a little bit smarter than all of your other friends who are photographers. So stick around. Has anyone ever said to you, listen, I need you to give me that image at 300 DPI? Or have you ever said to anyone when asked about your settings, well, I always export uh, full size at 300 DPI. Well, here's kind of what that's like. Hey, are you a carpenter? I need somebody to build me a table. Why, yes. Yes, I am. I, I'm a, a very good carpenter. Oh, that's fantastic. Listen, can you build me a table for my living room? I need it to be 12 inches to the foot. Sure, I can do that. 12 inches to the foot? No problem. Got a ruler right here. And uh, I'll make sure it's 12 inches to the foot. Now, how big does the table need to be? I need to be 12 inches to the foot. Right, right. Uh, 12 inches to the foot. I, I got that. But like how, how actually big, how many feet does the table need to be? How wide does it need to be? I don't, I don't understand what the problem is here. Um, the table is going to be used in a couple of different places. Like sometimes it's going to be in the living room and sometimes it's going to be in the kitchen. So I talked to the builder of the house and I asked him, I said, you know, how big do you need this table to be? Uh, and he said to make sure that it was 12 inches to the foot. Can you do that? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, but um, 12 inches to the foot. Are you stupid? That, that right there was some quality acting. Come on, right? Give it up. We, we need some sort of nomination for that acting. <laughs> okay, let's talk about DPI. Because that little scene right there is something that plays out all the time for me in my professional business as a professional photographer. I will be doing images for some company. And they will come back and they will say, we need these images at 300 DPI. And I know the person who's saying this to me is not a person who knows anything about photography, right? This is just some person who's in charge of hiring the photographer who's doing their headshots or their branding images or whatever it is. I know that they got this from usually like the web designer, right? The web designer says, oh, we need these images at 300 DPI. And what is so distressing about this is to think that here's a person who is designing websites and doesn't understand how resolution works. Because that's what this is about. It's about resolution. And I also know that a lot of photographers think that exporting something at 300 DPI is what you need to do to make sure that the picture is going to be big enough or the picture is going to display well. And technically, that's not true. So let's talk about resolution. Let's talk about DPI and really understand it so that we can sweep away all this fogginess regarding whether or not something has to be 300 DPI when you export it. Hey, it's pre-recorded Blu-ray here with a quick reminder to be sure and check out my podcast. It's called Photobomb. It's available anywhere the podcasts are found. I guarantee you will have a good time. Give it a listen. Also, join my group on Facebook. It's called Pro Photo Talk with Blu-ray Perry. It's a great community and a great place to go if you want to talk to fellow photographers, ask questions, have a good time, and like and subscribe to my channel because that helps to keep this channel alive. And the main thing that keeps this channel alive is my gear page. If you go down into the description and you look for my gear page, you will find links to all of the gear that I use, both professionally and when I travel. And if you click on one of those links, you buy something, I get a couple of dollars, and it helps me to keep this channel alive. Okay, DPI is a measure of resolution in the same way that 12 inches to the foot is a measurement, uh, you know, a definition of measurement. So 300 DPI, first, where does it come from? Well, for years, the standard for printing was 300 DPI. So the idea is if you, if you have an image and it's 300 DPI, then it prints well. It looks well when it prints. However, that's 300 dots per inch. How many inches is the picture going to be? That's what's vital to know. Because if I give you an image that's 300 DPI, and it's literally 300 pixels by 300 pixels, it's a square, 
that's a 300 DPI image. Now, you can only print it one inch because it's only got 300 D dots in it. So you can print it as one inch. But if you print it as one inch, it's a 300 DPI image. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Knowing that something's 300 DPI doesn't help you unless you know actually how big you plan to print the image. So 300 DPI means nothing. You need to know how big the image needs to be. So what do you need? Well, I need a 10 inch image at 300 DPI. Oh, well, that's 3000 dots. So I need to export this image as 300 pixels on the long side. If it's three, I'm sorry, 3000 pixels. <laughs> Did I say 300? 3000 pixels on the long side. So if it's 3000 pixels on the long side, and you're going to print it 10 inches long, that's 300 pixels in every inch, that is a 300 DPI image. All right, makes sense? So saying you need something at 300 DPI doesn't tell me anything. And exporting something as 300 DPI doesn't mean anything because it's just a definition. When you go into Photoshop or you go into Capture One and you say, oh, I want this resolution to be 300 DPI, if you look at the numbers, you'll see that it will change how big the image is going to be. So what's really good to do as a photographer is to simply think in terms of the pixels. Stop thinking in terms of DPI. Just think in terms of the pixels. I want this to be 3,000 on the long side. That tells me that this image will print 10 inches if you print it on a standard 300 DPI printer. Problem solved. Why is this so tricky? Well, here's why. Because resolutions change. For example, my actual print lab doesn't print at 300 DPI. I think they print at 240 DPI. And then, haha, <laughs> there's video. Oh, see, that's where things have gotten really interesting. Because for years, when it came to printing and video, you didn't really have to worry about video. You didn't have to worry about video displays because video displays tended to display somewhere around 72, maybe 76 DPI. So if you exported an image that was going to be printable as an 8x10 print, that image was going to look fine if it was displayed on any computer monitor in the world because computer monitors were small and they only displayed at 72 DPI. Your image is 300 DPI, so it has tons of dots to spare. And that's an important thing to understand, is you can't really have too many dots. So if something needs to be 300 DPI, and, and say it's 10 inches at 300 DPI, so it needs to be 3,000 pixels. And let's say you print it, or rather you export it, as a 6,000 pixel file. It's fine. As long as it's at least 300 dots per inch, it's fine. If it's more, that's not a problem. It'll print just fine. And the same thing applies to a computer monitor. If it's more than the 72 pixels per inch that you need, it's fine. It displays fine. However, what we have now is high definition. And then we have 4K. And then we have 6K. And now we have 8K. What does that mean? Well, the numbers, it's not exactly 4K, 6K, 8K. Like 8K is actually like 7,640 pixels or something along those lines. But if you're looking at a monitor and it is a 8K resolution, it means that the longest side of that monitor is 8,000 pixels. So if you are putting an image on that monitor and that image is going to take up the entire monitor, that image needs to be at least 8,000 pixels. If it is anything less than 8,000 pixels, it will either display smaller or it will be stretched to fit. The pixels will be separated a little bit more and the image won't look as good. It will start to lose resolution. An 8K monitor is 7,680 pixels on the long side. If it is a 10 inch monitor, that's 7,680 divided by 10. So that means the resolution is 768 DPI. If it's a 20 inch monitor, it's 7,680 divided by 20, which means, I had to look it up, <laughs> it's 384 DPI. So how big do your images need to be? Well, it all depends on where they're going to be used. Because here's the downside. Remember I said that if your images are too big, that they still display well? That's true. But the bigger they are in terms of pixels per inch, the more memory they take up and the longer they take to load 
if you were looking at them online. So the trick is to export your images in a file format in a size that is best going to work for your clients and for you. So if you give your clients images that are 8,000 pixels on the longest side, yeah, that may look great on a high definition 8K monitor, but if that's not where they're gonna use it, then you've just given them this huge file. And if they put that thing onto their website, it's gonna take longer to load. It's gonna take up more room. It's gonna be bigger than it needs to be. By the same definition, if you give them a file that is made so that it looks really good on a standard monitor at you know two inches by two inches, that's fine. But if they ever decide to print that thing as a five by seven or an eight by 10, the resolution is not gonna be there because it's not gonna be 300 DPI, 300 dots per inch. So when you are talking about exporting your images or when you are talking about getting an image from somebody and how big you need that image to be, what you need to do is just ask for the pixel count. Just ask for the pixels on the longest side. So if you need an image that needs to print as an eight by 10, then you need to be 10 inches on the longest side at 300 DPI, that's 3000 pixels. So all you have to do is say, yeah, I need these images to be 3000 on the longest side. That clears up all confusion. You've told me exactly what you need and I'm gonna give you exactly what you asked for. But saying to me, I need it to be 300 DPI, is that a one inch image, which would be 300 by 300? Or is that a 10 inch image, which would be 3000 by 3000? Or is it gonna go on a billboard? I don't know. You have to tell me how many pixels do you need? Or tell me how many inches it will be displayed by and what the resolution is per inch of the display. So you can say, I need this image to be 10 inches at 300 DPI. Got it, that's 3000, got it. Right, that works too. But really, the most efficient way to do it is to just say, I need this to be 3000 pixels on the longest side. And then there's no confusion and you get exactly what you want. So the next time you're talking to your friends who are photographers and they start talking about how they always export at 300 DPI, and I love how they always just go, I exported 300 DPI, like, <laughs> like it's a quality thing. You know, like, I only have caviar. <laughs> You know, I, I only wear the finest silks. I only export at 300 DPI. <laughs> I only use a ruler that has 12 inches in the foot. It's just ridiculous. So stop doing it and just start talking about the pixels because the pixels are all that matters. Thanks for watching.